Hey guys, this is Maynak, your civil pro. So today we'll see how to apply seismic mass source in Tecla Structural Designer. So this is a question in which I've seen in many comments across many videos of Tecla Structural Designer, uh, how to define the mass source. The reason for uh, this asking this question is that uh, in like in uh, ETAPS or SF2000, we find the option of defining the mass source very easily. But uh, in Tecla, it is uh, hidden behind a couple of steps. So that's why we are not, uh, you know, uh, able to understand uh, how to apply the mass source. So it's very simple. Before that, I'll, I'll also show you the definition of the mass source uh, as per the Indian course, uh, which will be similar to other course as well. But uh, before uh, showing the course, I'll tell you brief, uh, in briefly in one word, in layman's terms, what is the seismic mass? So basically, before the seismic mass is weighed by uh, G, acceleration due to gravity. So we need to understand seismic weight. Seismic weight is basically the dead load, the total load, uh, self weight of the structure and other, other dead loads like the wall load, uh, you know, the, the other floor finished load which you apply on the structure plus a percentage of the live load. So what is the percentage of the live load? As per the Indian code, uh, if the live load is up to three, then it is 25% of the live load. And if it is more than three, then it is 50%. So it is also similar to other codes, other countries' codes as well, this uh, part. So uh, it's very similar. So this is the other seismic weight. So we need to define the seismic weight like we do in uh, STAD, ETAPS, and SAP 2000. So how to do that in Tecla? Uh, which are the steps which are hidden here? I uh, will show you. So it's very, very pretty simple. Okay, before that, uh, I'll just uh, tell you. So. Uh, these are the things which you need to know. Seismic mass of flow. Uh, seismic mass is the seismic weight of the flow divided by acceleration due to gravity. And uh, seismic mass of a floor structure is uh, for the structure. And uh, for floor, floor is, uh, see what is written. This is some of the dead load of the floor appropriate contribution of columns means the self weight. Okay. And the floor finish, which is a uh, part of the dead load, service load, and appropriate amounts of imposed load. So, what is the appropriate amounts of imposed load? It is given in table number 10 as per IS, uh, you know, 1893, which is the earthquake code of India. So, in, up to 3, it is 25%, and more than 3, it is 50%. So, we'll take that only. Okay. So, there's nothing uh, superficial about this. So, suppose you have a, a structure which is fully designed in the Tecla Structural Designer by static, you know, uh, you know, live and dead loads and the load combination, then you want to define the seismic load. So you go to seismic wizard and uh, you select the code spectra and, uh, you, uh, you know, it will be different for different countries, but I'm go going by Indian code. Suppose it is, uh, you know, zone two, okay, and ignore seismic below the plinth level, okay, and then the damping is, we you know, 5%. And the importance factor here, we have the five, uh, three types of importance factor. And, uh, you know, as per the uh, code, uh, we have the importance factor uh, also given in the code here. Now let me show you. Importance factor is given in table number 8, uh, 1.5, 1.2 and 1. 1 is basically for normal buildings. Uh, 1.2 is for buildings of more than 200 uh, occupancy and 1.5 is for important buildings like hospitals. Public buildings basically is 1.2. So let's take 1 here. Okay, Let's take 1 and uh, then we go to next. Then uh, you have this, uh, you know, equivalent lateral force procedure. Uh, you have this uh, model response spectrum analysis. So you, you can choose uh, any any one of, one of uh, this uh, method. Okay. So and can go. And then you have the structure type. Structure type RC moment resisting frames. We select the RC moment resisting frames. So here also from the code, you can see RC moment resisting frames. Uh, here the uh, definition has been given with special moment resisting frame, which ductility is included. Okay. So, so then you have the uh, fundamental time the time period. Okay. So, so fundamental time period also the software calculates automatically, or you can calculate as per the uh, code also the fundamental time period. So the fundamental time period is this one 0 0.09 h by root d. So it is given in uh, different in uh, both directions. So here, if you want to calculate, for example, so the height of the building, uh, I can go to. I'll just, uh, um, let me just cancel this first. So, because you know, you need to know. So, the height of the building, you go to construction levels and know, the height of the building is 3.2 meter. And if you want to know the sizes here, so sizes here, you can measure here. So, sizes here is, this one is 20 and this one is 12. So, this is 20 into 12. So 20 is in one direction, the X direction you can say. Okay. So you can see the directions from here. Now let's go to 3D and you can see in 3D view. 
So 20, you can see the X is here. In the X direction, it is 20. And in the Y direction, it is 12. Okay. And the height is 6.4. Okay. So we can calculate easily uh, the two values here. So if we just calculate this. So it will be point uh, in the X direction. Uh, we'll just calculate here. You can open the calculator. So for the other buildings, it will be 0 0.09 into the height, uh, which is 6.4 and uh, divide by root D. D is the uh, dimension of the base. For the larger one, it is 4.47. So divided by 4.47, it gives 0 0.13. So 0 0.13 is in the uh, longer direction, which is the uh, x direction. Sorry, uh, yeah, x direction. So point just right here. So to remember, point zero point one three. Okay, one three in the x direction. X and in the y. Y again. The calculation will be. Uh, your point zero nine. This is point zero nine into six point four divided by root twelve. Okay, so root twelve is three point four six. So divided by three point four six, it gives one point one six six. So in the y direction, it is zero point one seven. Okay, so one point one three and point one seven. We have these values here. And then we just go and apply this here. Okay, so we'll go to load and seismic wizard, and then we'll have to repeat the steps because we didn't calculate this value earlier. Okay, so one and structure base next, next, model testing pin, model testing pin. So we have this in the direction one. So direction one is the X direction. So in direction one, we'll give here the value which you calculate 0.13 and 0.17. Okay. So so we can see here TA, right? TA. So 0.13. So you can you cannot edit this okay uh, in here. You are not able to edit this in here in this software. Okay. So user defined if you do, then you can edit this, right? No. You got defined structure, uh, structure fundamental period. No, you're not able to edit this, I think. Okay, you're not able to edit this basically. Okay, but uh, you know how to calculate this. So then click on next and then you have monitoring system, monitoring system, response reduction factor. Uh you have to do this SMRF. And SMRF. So as you do SMRF, this response duration factor is five. You can see it here in the code for SMRF response duration factor is five. Okay. So then click on next, and then this is the step where you include the seismic weight. So so these are the self weight. Okay. Self weight included. Dead load or which means other dead load. Dead load you can include. Uh, impo uh, service load, which is also type of dead load, which you include. Imposed load. Now. You include this imposed load, but you make this factor, change this factor. Okay. Include and change this factor to uh, 0 0.25. Uh, right. You take the 25%. So 25% of the imposed load of the live load is taken and the remaining dead load. So all these are dead load, dead load, full dead load is taken. So this is the definition of the seismic, uh, you know, mass. So that's why how, how the uh, how you define the seismic masses, and then you go and create the load combination here, and then you perform the uh, structural analysis. But uh, then you can go to analyze and uh, do the various analysis, or you can go to home and uh, sorry, you can go to design, and you can just go to design all static, and you can design. But uh, the main motto is that that's how you add the seismic mass source. So the process is different, but the concept is the uh, same in different software. So hope uh, this video helps uh, in understanding. And if you have any doubts in Tecla Structural Designer or any other software, I uh, can comment below. I'll uh, if I can, I'll make sure I'll uh, try to solve it.
Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye-bye.